What if I told you a robot went absolutely haywire during a live demonstration and started attacking the engineers around it? Sounds like something straight out of a Terminator movie, right? Well, this isn't fiction, it really happened. Humanoid robot malfunctioned during a routine test, and it wasn't just a small glitch. It went on a rampage, swinging its arms wildly and knocking over equipment, causing engineers to scramble for safety. And this incident wasn't some isolated. Event it's just the latest in a series of bizarre headline-grabbing moments happening in the world of AI and robotics. From robots selling cars to robots replacing workers in factories. The future is arriving faster than we expected and it's unpredictable in this video. We'll break down the shocking details of this malfunction, dive into some other mind-blowing developments in robotics, and explore the future of AI. So, buckle up, because things are about to get pretty crazy. We all know robots are advancing rapidly, okay? but this latest malfunction in a Chinese factory is a reminder of just how real and dangerous they've become. This wasn't just a simple glitch, was a full-on outburst. During a standard test, a humanoid robot started flailing its arms, knocking over computers, and causing chaos. This was no small mistake, was an engineering disaster. The crazy thing, it all happened on camera and went viral in just hours. But this malfunction is just part of a much bigger trend in robotics. Across the globe, robots are becoming more capable, more lifelike, and more integrated into our daily lives. Whether it's robots that can sell cars, work in factories, or even assemble themselves at home, we're quickly entering a world where AI and robots are no longer just a curiosity, they're becoming a reality. The robot malfunction, a chaotic moment. Let's start with a viral video that had everyone talking. In this clip, shared by Nexa, we see a humanoid robot in a Chinese factory. The robot was undergoing a range of motion test, a typical check to ensure that its joints and movements are working properly. Everything was going as expected until it wasn't. The robot's joints malfunctioned. And suddenly, it went from a calm demo to a rampaging machine. Imagine a puppet with no strings. That's what it looked like. The robot flung its arms around, kicked its feet, and even yanked at its suspension line. The entire robot started sliding across the factory floor like it was on a mission to knock everything over. It knocked over a desktop PC and scattered a bucket of fasteners, seriously. It was like a toddler on a sugar high. But this wasn't cute it was chaotic and dangerous. The two engineers in the video immediately tried to get out of its path, but the robot was still going wild. To make matters worse, there was a crane hook overhead that was creaking ominously. The whole scene lasted just 20 seconds, but it felt like a lifetime. As expected, the video went viral almost instantly, attracting 100,000 views in just four hours. People were not just shocked, they were scared. The incident sparked jokes in the comments, with many referring to famous robots like Skynet from the Terminator movies or Robocop. Some even joked Sarah Connor was fiffing right, referencing the iconic character who famously warned about AI turning on humanity. The video left many wondering, what if the next malfunction is worse? What happens when we trust these machines with more critical tasks? Could we be walking into a future where machines are more than just tools? The rise of humanoid robots selling cars and replacing jobs. While this robot malfunction is certainly concerning, it's only part of a bigger trend in robotics. Humanoid robots robots that resemble humans in both shape and function are becoming more and more common. And they're no longer just used for research or entertainment. Companies are actively looking to replace human workers with robots for things like customer service, product assembly, and even sales. For example, Cherry Automotive, a major car. Company in China is betting on robots to be their next sales assistants. The company has partnered with AI MOA, a robotics company,
to create a humanoid robot called Maureen. Maureen isn't just any robot she's blonde, wears sunglasses, and even has a ponytail. Yep, you heard that right this robot looks like. A real human, and her job is to sell cars at the dealership. Maureen's abilities go beyond just standing there looking pretty. She can greet customers, offer them bottled water, and answer their questions with a synthetic voice. Oh, and her sunglasses. They're not just for fashion, they hide a camera array that provides 360-degree vision so she can spot customers from any angle. Marine's fingertips are even equipped with sensors that can detect touch, making her a fully interactive humanoid, while Cherry is focusing on the charm of the robot. Other companies are taking a more functional approach. Iggy GmbH, based in Cologne, Germany, is making humanoid robots that focus on doing real-world tasks. They've created Iggy Rob, a humanoid robot that costs about $54,500 and has two robotic arms capable of lifting and moving things. Though it doesn't walk, it's designed to be a cost-effective robot for tasks like delivery and light assembly. The affordable DIY robot Berkeley's $5,000 Humanoid while companies like Cherry and Iggy GmbH are focusing on high-end humanoid. Robots, there's another group pushing the boundaries on affordable robotics. Over at the University of California, Berkeley, researchers have released a DIY humanoid robot that you can build at home for just around $5,000. This robot is a game changer because it's giving hobbyists and tinkerers the chance to create their own humanoid robots without needing huge amounts of money or specialized skills. The Barclay humanoid is about the size of a toddler and can be printed at home using a standard 3D printer. The project's CAD designs, firmware, and software scripts are all open source and available on GitHub, meaning anyone can make their own humanoid robot with just a little time and effort. The robot is designed to walk perform simple tasks, even do fun things like stack foam cubes or spin a Rubik's Cube. While the robot's performance isn't perfect yet, it can't solve the Rubik's Cube just yet. It represents a huge leap in affordable robotics. At just $5,000, it outperforms some of the high-cost commercial robots and the best part. It's a community-driven project, with people already making improvements to the robot's design, batteries, and gear ratios. Could this be the future of humanoid robots? Will we see a world where people are printing their own robots at home, just like they build 3D models for models or toys? Hyundai and Boston Dynamics, robots in the factory. While humanoid robots are being used for customer-facing roles, another major player in robotics is Hyundai. In 2021, Hyundai purchased Boston Dynamics the company behind the famous Atlas robot, the robot that can perform parkour and backflips. Now, Hyundai is bringing the Atlas robots into its factories to help with production. Hyundai's goal is to increase its production of electric vehicles to 300,000 units per year by the end of the decade, and they're planning to use robots. Like Atlas, for tasks that require high precision and physical strength. These robots can climb stairs, step over conveyor belts, and perform complex tasks in tight spaces, making them perfect for factory environments. The use of robots in factories is growing fast, and Hyundai's plan to integrate Atlas robots into their production lines is a prime example of how robots are starting to play a major role in industries that once relied solely on human workers. While there are concerns about job displacement, Hyundai argues that these robots will actually improve efficiency and workplace safety. But as robots like Atlas start performing physical labor, it's natural to wonder, how far can this go? What does the future hold? All of these advances in robotics have one thing in common. They're rapidly changing the way we work, interact, and live. We've gone from theoretical robots in movies to practical, real-world machines that can replace human labor in a wide variety of industries. But with these changes come big questions.
What happens when robots start replacing human workers? Will we see a future where robots are in every factory, shop, and even office? As we continue to build more advanced robots, whether they're humanoids like Morin or Atlas, or DIY projects like the Barkley Humanoid, the reality is that robots are getting smarter and more capable every day as they become more integrated into our workplaces and homes. It raises the question, are we ready for a world where robots aren't just assistants, they're co-workers, competitors, and maybe even replacements? The future is here, and it's robotic. Whether they're malfunctioning in factories or selling cars, robots are becoming more real and more dangerous every day. As we continue to develop smarter, more capable machines, we'll need to start asking the hard questions. How will this affect our jobs, our economy, and our daily lives? The recent robot malfunction in China was a wake-up call, showing us that while robots have incredible potential, they also come with significant risks. As we move forward into this new age of AI and robotics, the challenges will only grow. But so will the rewards. It's up to us to ensure that we balance innovation with safety and ethical considerations as we move toward an increasingly automated world. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to drop a comment and share this video with your friends. Catch you in the next one.